Hey guys, what's up? I have to record this intro really, really fast because the battery is about to die on the camera. Oh boy, here we go. All right, also I was too lazy to rearrange the camera from the position I had it in, so we're just gonna do this, okay, on the fly. Uh, today we're gonna be cooking the Parisian steak frite with roasted broccoli and lemon aioli. Uh, this is a Blue Apron meal, obviously, and it is the Airbnb special one where two hosts uh, recommend this meal. It looks delicious and we're gonna do it. So we have two steaks, half a pound of broccoli, three fourths a pound of multicolored potatoes, a clove of garlic, one lemon, and a bunch of thyme. Like literally, like thyme, not like, you know, chronological, but the herb. And then uh, some butter and mayonnaise, cause it wouldn't be French without that. Relax, remember I can say that. We also have some wine that we're gonna be drinking, just completely, you know, not related to this, whatever. Anyway, cool. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna charge this battery and then do some prep and then cook, okay? Okay. Here we are, we're cooking and stuff. I just did the prep work. It was supposed to be a time lapse, but I messed up on doing that. So, you know, you got a fast forward version of that. Uh, so, <clears throat> we put the butter and we washed all the produce. We cut the stuff, blah, 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 blah. Okay, whatever, whatever. So we're now preheating the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is Celsius because this is America and they don't teach us all the other, you know, the rest of the world stuff. Now I'm going to take the potatoes that we cut and the broccoli that we cut and I'm going to combine them in a large bowl. Consider them combined. Now it wouldn't be a Blue Apron recipe if it didn't tell me to add a drizzle of olive oil, which we're using avocado instead, just fun fact, and season with salt and pepper to taste. Truly Blue Apron recipe. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? We now toss to coat. Okay, I mean, that makes perfect sense, right? That's what you do. And then evenly disperse between two sheet pans. But guess what? Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, one sheet pan. Because they don't have two. So that's what we get. Make it an even layer. Close enough. Okay, we're gonna roast for 11 minutes. Then we're gonna turn them, <clears throat> roast them for about another 11 minutes, pierce them with a fork, see if they're good, and then we'll take them out, okay? Okay, we'll get back to that. 
While the vegetables continue to roast, pat the steaks dry with paper towel, season with salt and pepper on both sides. Guess what I did without you? That. What? Don't give me a hard time, okay? It's hard enough to have food safety and to record by myself. There's no camera operator right now. So you know what? I love you. In a medium pan, we uh, just heated two teaspoons of olive oil and we are going to add the steaks. We're going to turn them occasionally, eight to 10 minutes for medium rare, blah, 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 or whatever desired, such and such. Steak. And steak. Good to go. After that, we're going to transfer these guys to the cutting board to rest because that's what you need to do. If you didn't need, if you didn't know that before, now you know. You need to let your steaks rest. It's important. Everyone needs rest. Give it a rest. All right, let's take these veggies out. Woo! Get it, girl. Look at that. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're making the aioli. We're going to add the mayonnaise they have given us, the juice of one lemon wedge, and as much garlic as we want. A little bit of salt and pepper, obviously. They always say salt and pepper. Be careful with how much salt and pepper you use, though. Mayo. Lemon juice. Garlic. Stir, 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 Etc. Little salt and pepper. Steaks rest, we're going to get the bowl of softened butter, we're going to add the juice of one lemon wedge, and we add as much as the time as we want. That looks good. And salt and pepper, but I think we're good on that, so. Alright my friends, next what we do is we get the steaks, they've been resting, we're going to find the grain and cut against it lengthwise. It's going this way, it's going to go that way. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to add, I mean, add, we're going to plate. Now we're going to put the steak on the plate. We're going to put our lovely butter substance on the top. You know. You know how we do. And some veggies, the aioli, and a little lemon wedge for garnish. And of course we're doing this on a fiesta plate because that's what we're doing. We gotta Instagram this, you know? And of course, because we're cooking a French dish, or at least inspired, uh, it is appropriate to say, et voila. Okay, here we go. I get some veggie action going here. Mm-hmm. The frites, aka French fry. Okay, so there's that. Et voila. C'est tout. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. This turned out tasty. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please share it with other people if they want to see it. I'm going to put this stuff on Instagram, so hopefully that'll help too. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't yet. The account is growing. It just makes me very happy. And, uh, you know, maybe order this. I don't have a discount code or anything, but, you know, it's good. It's cool. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace, love, and fork. Fork, fork and... Fork and peace, man. Get it? Fork and... Fork and peace!